It's Friday, February 28th. You've got the Day Weather Podcast. Thanks for tuning in today. Well, we've got an extra day, a leap day this year in February. So we're going to get a bonus day, not only an extra day of the year, but an extra good day of weather before, well, we see March come in a little bit like a lion as we get into Sunday and Monday. Today and tomorrow, a great opportunity to travel or if you need to do something outside, it's going to be spring-like. 40s and 50s today in many areas, 50s and 60s tomorrow. Saturday, 60-degree temperatures will be common across the Front Range of Colorado, western Nebraska. Really a couple of good days. However, if you've got plans on travel or to be outdoors Sunday into Monday, well, a heads up to stock growers and travelers Sunday into Monday, wintry weather returns. Really, in fact, as early as Saturday night in some areas. This is why we've got a low coming in. This is the forecast by late Sunday night into Monday morning. We've got a low pressure system coming up out of Southern California that's going to feed energy and moisture this way. And then this little kink you see in the jet stream right there, that is a Canadian cold front bringing in colder Canadian air. When you take Pacific moisture from here, you bring in Canadian air from here, and you put these two areas together, this is always just a really good pattern to make it snow. You have a lot of confidence in this pattern that you're going to get snow. This doesn't tend to produce a ton of snow. And this also is the type of storm system that doesn't produce a ton of wind either. So it's more of a straight down snow, which doesn't happen very often. But it's going to be covering a lot of real estate this snow will. And you can see it here. This is the Prediction from the computer modeling through Tuesday morning of where the heaviest snow will fall. Now, again, this is a model. One thing you got to remember about computer models, they're tools, they're not reality. But it's a good way to show you where we think the heavier snow is going to fall. And you can see all of the I-80 corridor of Wyoming, western Nebraska, into the Wasatch Front, going to get snowed on. So if you have travels along Interstate 80 starting late Saturday night, into Sunday morning here, well, you're going to run into snowfall. That's an area to watch out for Saturday night, Sunday morning. But you can see Casper along I-25, then down into the front range of Colorado will all be impacted. The mountains along I-70 in Colorado will be impacted. Also, watch out for what looks like. See that bullseye right there? That's a lander south pass system. This type of system really does bring heavy snow to the south pass of Wyoming. And that'll be something to watch out for. And you can also see these purple areas here on the higher terrain between Rollins and Laramie. So that's your Snow Chee Trail I-80 corridor area that's going to see significant snow. Again, this starts Saturday night late in this area here. And during the overnight hours of Saturday, spreads to central Wyoming, then gets into the southern areas of the state of Wyoming into northern Colorado during the day Sunday, overnight Sunday into Monday morning. So be ready for some wintry weather after two really good looking days. Now, after that system moves out, this is for Thursday. Notice we get a westerly flow. That means warmer temperatures will come in. This is the storm that's going to come through this weekend and Monday. Then this means a warm up. So what will happen is this is the roller coaster season. We have a winter event. We get colder after a couple of warm days. Then we have a nice warm-up at the end of next week into the start of next weekend. Although by Saturday into Sunday, here comes our next system that could come through bringing a chance of snow and colder weather again. We'll see late Saturday into Sunday. Although I'll have to tell you, this pattern right here in the Pacific is a little convoluted. This area of low pressure here and this area of low pressure here may not be handled very well by the models. So really, once we get past... Well, let's say Friday of this coming week, do expect the weather forecast to maybe be variable or changeable, something that we always have to face during this time of year. Want to give you a quick update on snowpack conditions. They continue to be very good. Really, only the Sweetwater and Belfouche drainages are a bit below average right now. The rest of Wyoming snowpack basins doing very, very well. Same for Colorado. Now, notice we've dropped into the 90s. In southwest Colorado's basins. However, this storm coming will help ease that, and there's more snow coming. So we're pretty confident that even southwest Colorado will join the rest of the basins in Colorado with above average snowpack here in the coming weeks. One quick thing I want to show you, this is a very long-range forecast 
for August, September, and October. These are sea surface temperature forecasts. And I just want to show you, this is something that will update you throughout the coming weeks and months with this podcast, is we continue to see the computer modeling forecasting cold sea surface temperatures in the subtropical Pacific, which means late summer, early fall, we could go into a La Nina phase. And for Colorado and Wyoming and the western states, La Nina is a dry signature. That's why it's so important to talk about La Nina if we see one coming. So be ready for some great weather over the next couple of days. Be ready for the snow Saturday night, Sunday, into early Monday. We'll talk to you on Monday, and we'll see how the storm did.